gutter champs. Look at how cute this cover up is. Yes. I need you yes. to unzip me. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> so we're starting this vlog a little late here, but uh, I wasn't gonna vlog. And then we checked into a way cooler hotel. <laughs> and let's be honest, I need the write offs. So. <laughs> Um, we were at a different hotel yesterday and it kind of sucked. Um, what was that one called? Oh, the Sands or something? Not a huge fan, but this one. This is really nice. They just upgraded us to the residence here, which I'll have to show you guys. It is what is, that room's probably like an insane amount per night. And they don't have any other ones ready, so they were like, hey, do you guys want to take this one? I think it's like five grand a night. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's like. Insane. And for peak season, it's like that's insane. Crazy. Who? Why can't we just drop five grand a night on this? That's why it's room? empty. That's why it's empty. <laughs> we just had breakfast. I had some chilaquiles. My phone's about to die. This is no kids, adults only. This is wonderful. I am missing my children, but I'm also loving having some time away from the fam and getting some girl time in. Right before Nick and I met, this bitch and I, we were supposed to go to Sri Lanka and Bali together, and then he tried to hijack our vacation, and then COVID happened, and so we didn't go, and now we need to plan that again. But, um... Yeah, if anybody wants to, to go find our trip to Sri Lanka and Bali. Yeah, totally. That'd be rad. Sponsor us! Oh, I've had this dress for two years and I've never worn it. Um, I think I did some like pregnancy photos in it with Harlow, but that was it. I literally just took the tag off of it this morning. So it's nice that it's getting a little, a little love. Oh shit, balls. Right before Nick and I met, this bitch and I, we were supposed to go to Sri Lanka and Bali together. And then he tried to hijack our vacation and then COVID oh, happened. And so we didn't go. And now we need to plan that again. But, um. Yeah, if anybody wants to to go find our trip to Sri Lanka and Bali. Yeah, totally. That'd be rad. Sponsor us! Oh, I've had this dress for two years and I've never worn it. Um, I think I did some like pregnancy photos in it with Harlow, but that was it. I literally just took the tag off of it this morning, so it's nice that it's getting a little, a little love. Oh, shit, balls. Oh, no. I just, I'll get your purse. I'll get your purse. Oh, shit. That's why you're, that's why it's an umbrella. It's blocking the sun perfectly. Oh, I'm gonna get my base tan on. We've got some massages scheduled for tomorrow, I think, before we head back. And I am hungover from last night. I don't know what to drink. I don't know what, I should probably just keep drinking some water for a little while. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's like, see you start drinking. Maybe a little rosé. Maybe the people here know what actually flat rosé means. Yes, they have a whole wine list, a huge wine list. Sounds so bitchy, but yesterday I was like, hey, can I please have some like flat rosé, like no bubbles, like dry. He brings me out rosé with bubbles. Not here, there. Yeah, the service was not, not so wonderful. We're gonna catch some sun. Our room got so upgraded and Allie let her tits fly for like one second and then the housekeeper came and she had to roll over. She's gone by the way. <laughs> but look at this, this is like all private, okay? This is what $4,000 a night will get you, folks. Didn't pay that because they up. You can let your tits fly again. They um, upgraded us, which was super nice. There's like an outdoor shower. Look pretty. Oh, wait, do they see the second part of the place? Okay. So pretty. So we're eating, and I wasn't gonna have a drink, 
but it had cucumber in it, so here we are. And this is the, what is it, yellowtail crudo? Carpaccio. Carpaccio. Delicious. My sexy date. Mm-hmm. It's probably gonna rain on us. Everyone under there is good, we are not. <laughs> It is so cute out here though. You've been coming here for over five years and you've never been to this restaurant in here. I always just eat at the bar. Yeah. Something new. I've been coming here for like 10 years, I think. It's crazy. Sad. That's crazy. But true. I want to know how much you've spent here in total. So oh far. God, I don't want to know that. I don't want to know that. <laughs> Last year for my birthday, I was here for a week by myself. A week. And that's why, I, and I specifically, so Colin, the manager, I told him before, I was like, when I check out, because I know what they do, I was like, I don't want to see it. So it's in my profile. I'm like, I don't want to see, most hotels, I say that. I'm like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to like- I don't blame you. Like, just, I'm like, just charge a week. Don't show me, just charge me. Okay, look at the cinematic. Oh yeah, ooh, ooh, I have two hands, you guys. Did you know that? You never, nobody ever films me. Okay, let's try this. It's delicious. Okay, watch me just fall, drop it on the table. That's good. What's it taste like? It's a little fishier than I expected, but it's very good. It's a little fishier? Mm -hmm. Really? Delicious. <laughs> we got the rolls, the 30. Go ahead. No, uh, I'm actually not. Yeah, no, I'm okay. still working. Thank you. We've got the $57 rolls. And, These are $57? Uh, no, it was 18. <laughs> it's still it's crazy. Like Jesus. And uh, little gem salad and hello this is like ten dollars worth of drink right here it started raining on us so the pool's looking pretty rad out here <laughs> we should probably get in the jacuzzi that'd be kind of cool but the we got the fireplace going we got some rolls being delivered to the room yeah and like ali said we're really slumming it in here <laughs> this room is so it's not even a room this is like a this is a residence. I'd rather live here than a house. I mean, I don't blame you. Your house is tiny. It's a teeny tiny. It was 1100 earlier. What happened? How did it grow? It's like between 11 and 12. <laughs> yeah, they don't need to see us naked running around here. Dude, everybody's already seen our titties, I think, today. You are Dang. hot. Dang, that's fancy. We're, <laughs> we're trying to get something up on the TV, but this remote is from like 1995. Look at that clunker of a remote. Like it's, there's no apps on this TV. We're trying to watch the Ruby Frankie documentary. Which one? Oh, the Nickelodeon one? Mm-mm. Ruby Frankie. Oh, fancy. Yeah, it's like all stuffed and like, you can't even breathe out of it. Oh my goodness. That was, oh my gosh, I just slept in, so it was nine o'clock. I didn't wake up a single time to feed a baby, my baby. I got to sleep in. I get to relax and just sit in bed right now and like not do anything. It's so great. It's so, oh my gosh, this has been really nice. I miss my babies, but I'm also just soaking up this opportunity that I have. So this has been so nice. Today's agenda, I slept with mascara on. Oh my gosh, my hair is just everywhere. Um, we're gonna go get some breakfast. I think that's like included with our stay today. And then um, we are gonna go get massages. Then we'll head back and mosey back on to San Diego, back home. I miss my babies. Nick is supposedly taking care of this little mouse that I found the other day that you guys might have seen on my Instagram stories. So I got some sun yesterday. Um, so yeah, he's been actually nursing her and I promised him something if he kept that little thing alive because I knew as soon as I left, he would like 
try and feed it to an animal or something. Not like he doesn't love animals. He loves animals, but these are mice that chew up the cords in our motorhome in our cars. Like he puts mouse traps out in the motorhome. So I was like, we gotta, I gotta give him incentive to keep this little thing alive. <laughs> so crazy those poor people like they have no privacy like we can hear everything they're saying i've heard them fucking bitch all night i want to see what they fucking look like all night they were bitching i i woke up at, at some point and i was like where are there people in the yard like, like it, did, did they come did someone come into our living room again <laughs> okay so we got asked to review the hotel that we were staying at not she, this hotel not this not not this no, hotel no. <laughs> so she, she she's telling me all about chat gbt yeah and she what did you tell it basically i said help me write a horrible review of a recent hotel stay did neglecting you... poor service chat gbt writes this review back it's pretty hilarious the title nightmare at the bates hotel <laughs> review <laughs> Where do I begin with this abysmal excuse for a hotel? From the moment I set foot into this decrepit establishment, I knew <laughs> I I knew I had made a grave mistake. The neglect and utter lack of maintenance were evident in every creaky floorboard and peeling wallpaper. It felt like I had been transported back to the 1950s and not in a charming retro way, but rather in a time warp of despair. The staff, if you could even call them that, were the epitome of incompetence. It seems like they had been fucked straight from the reject pile of a fast food joint thrown into positions that were clearly <laughs> ill equipped to handle. We're not actually posting this, FYI, but it's hilarious. Okay, continue. I mean, it might go on TripAdvisor. I mean, I, I am not posting that, but. <laughs> Their demeanor ranged from indifferent to outright rude, as if they were Louder. doing a favor by gracing you with their presence. As for the service, what service? I might as well have been invisible for all the attention I received. The requests for basic amenities were met with blank stares or outright dismount. <laughs> it, it was as if they had a quota for how many guests they could ignore in a day and I had the misfortune of exceeding it. <laughs> the room so itself good. was a disaster zone. The bed might, might have been comfortable if it hadn't been this best Infested. GBT is creative, okay? Yeah. The bed might have been comfortable if it had been infested with what I can only assume were generations of bed bugs. The bathroom was a breeding ground for all manner of fungi and bacteria. <laughs> with a shower that seems more intent on dripping lukewarm water than actual cleaning anything. In conclusion, if you have a regard for your sanity, steer clear of this hellhole masquerading as a hotel. Save yourself the agony and book elsewhere. <laughs> Unless, of course, you enjoy being treated like a second class citizen by low caliber individuals in a setting straight out of a horror movie. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try out this chat DVD I just said, well, she typed most of this. I'm a 35 year old hot mom with two beautiful children and a handsome husband. I just left them for the first time and I wanna send a sexy text to my husband because I can't wait to see him and I can't wait to get in bed with him. Let's see what it says. Okay, read what it says. The <laughs> Let me read you what it said. It says, how about something like, there you go. <laughs> hey there, hot stuff. I can't stop thinking about how much I miss you already. Can't wait to get home and into your arms. Let's make tonight unforgettable. And then she says, be dirtier, be sexier. It says, Obviously. sure, how about this? Hey babe, just left and I'm already craving you. Can't wait to feel your hands all over me, exploring every inch. Let's make tonight wild and unforgettable. Get ready for some serious fun when I get home. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. I don't know if I had... <laughs> Whoa! Flying menu, sorry. Okay. Be even more extreme. Hey, sexy, I'm already dripping with anticipation. <laughs> Thinking... I could actually be a romance novel list with this app. Welcome to my life. <laughs> this is a write-off because my business consultant taught me about chat GBT. Just... You be proud... You be proud, Che. We're about to check out, y'all. We just took some OnlyFans pictures. We're gonna write this trip off. No, I, Ali and I were talking about, we're like, how fun would it be to actually create like an OnlyFans as like 
kind of a joke and like just post like some random foot pics maybe like a butt pic here and there like some tattoo pics like my friend's feet whoever's feet no just my friends probably <laughs> like post and like see how many fans we can actually get that like foot pics or like whatever Allie, Allie's got some nice feet my feet are hideous but I'm sure somebody wants to look at them still and then like let that pay for our girls vacations like if, if we ever made any money I'm actually down are you down what? you're so down for an only fans right yeah. fuck yeah so we're drinking some coffee we're about to take off pack up go back I think Harlow's not gonna give two shits guys when she sees me she's gonna be like she's gonna look at me walk in the door and she's gonna be like whatever I was doing as you were a child. She's kind of going through that phase right now where she just like doesn't care about mom, like at all. And it hurts my feelings. <laughs> she doesn't need mom right now, okay? I know that she needs me, but still, it'd be nice if I felt a little more wanted. <laughs> kind of gives me PTSD a little bit, like from the opposite side of like being mean to my mom when I was a teenager. And now as a mom, I'm like, dude, I was a bitch. Like, I would make my mom cry some of the things that I would say. I don't give a shit then. And now I'm like, I get it. Like that's so mean and so fucked up. I don't even remember what things I would say to her, but just being a teenager, nothing out of the norm, but just like, geez, like now I'm like, I, I'm sorry, mom. If you're watching, I'm sorry, mom. Should not have said that shit to you. I feel really bad. I'm gonna give you an extra hug when I see you and work on being nicer to you even in my adulthood. <laughs> You feel like, I feel like you don't realize stuff like that until you actually have kids of your own. But okay, I gotta go pack up. Let's do this. So we just pulled up. Allie's gonna film Harlow's reaction when she sees me because I don't think she's gonna care. Told you. <laughs> Been asking about you all day. Hi, baby girl. That's your mommy? <laughs> Is that your mommy? Is this your mommy? Who's your mommy? Am I? Mommy's phone? That's mommy's, mommy's phone. phone, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. 